Capricorns, welcome back, welcome home. It's so good to have you here with me now, present, shuffling the cards and connecting with you guys on an energetic level. What does spirit have for you? What messages do they want you to receive right now, Capricorns? Sun, moon, rising, and cross watchers. Woo! Okay. I just heard the word unsure, uncertainty, and you also got, just like all of the others, you got the tower card and you have the page of wands. The tower card has been showing up a lot lately. I just wanna sit with this. What do you see for Capricorns, guides? What do you see? Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. If you hear any noise in the background, um, the kids are playing outside in my neighborhood. And also my dog is ripping up a piece of paper. Capricorn. Can we talk? Ooh. What I just heard just now was spirit saying Capricorn, safety is an illusion. That is really, really specific. Capricorn, there's something right now that you are trying not to look at. You're trying not to face it. You're trying not to abs absorb it and observe it. Um, in, in that attempt to turn your head away from it, you're finding... All of these, um, I'm going to say excuses, because um, that's ultimately what they are. All of these different things to distract yourself from facing the truth or facing a conversation or some type of development that needs to be had here. I don't know why, but shoes are coming forward. It's like you're trying to, instead of facing this, like it's almost like cancerous like i don't know why cancer cancerous is the word that's coming through but it's like this thing that if you the more that you don't look at it or the more that you pretend like it didn't happen or it didn't exist or that it's not bothering you the bigger the problem becomes and what i'm seeing is like you're kind of reshifting your focus into oh i'm gonna get new shoes i'm gonna get this new thing i'm gonna get this new car i'm gonna get these new friends i'm gonna get this new lifestyle i'm gonna get this new house whatever it is it's like these material possessions that represent something to distract you from what you actually should what you're avoiding and spirit is saying i'm hearing tick 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 um, there, I feel that spirit, the guides always come through with understanding with us. They're very compassionate. They're very graceful. They're very forgiving with us, but you don't want this to carry on for too long. Every single one of the signs that I've done so far today have received the tower card and the tower card shows that there is some level of unexpected surprise and development. Each one of the signs that I've done before you have had different levels of surprises, some that, you know, feel good um, and bring pl pleasant surprises. And in your case, Capricorn, I feel like the the longer you go on with without addressing this, the bigger the problem becomes and you can avoid, you can totally avoid this from turning into a bigger, more unfixable situation by just simply addressing it head on by simply just taking care of it, whatever it is. Um, I'm also just remembering that I have this like dirt here um, just because I was playing with my puppy outside. She was digging in the, in the dirt and she jumped on me and it got on, on my clothes. But even as I'm saying that, it's like, why is that even important for me to say that? You know, so Capricorn, it feels like there's something that you need to address. It feels like there's something that needs to be said. It feel, and it, I honestly, Capricorn, I feel like it's got to be you, the one to do it. Um, if this has to do with a friendship, a broken friendship, a broken connection, something that you feel went totally amiss, something that you don't have closure on, you don't have clarity on, 
spirit is kind of wanting you to stop running away from that and to address it and to take care of it and to handle it. Are they, I'm sorry, are they open to hearing you out? Are they open to connecting with you? Are they open to um, hearing, like maybe there needs to be an apology. Maybe there needs to be something that was said. Maybe there's a truth on your heart that would require you to be vulnerable, that you are not allowing yourself to see, you're not allowing yourself to share because you're defensive. You're trying to hold it together with the emperor card here. You don't feel comfortable making yourself vulnerable in that way. But what it's doing is it's creating mental health problems for you because your spirit is like, it wants to move with integrity. It wants to move in a, an authentic space. And it's like, you're just kind of doing all these other things. With the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, Normally, I would see these as positive cards, but to be honest with you, I see these mostly as like distractions and how committed you are in, in distracting yourself from the truth. What's really concerning me, my loves, is the Seven of Cups here. Wow. Wow. Um, sorry, guys, that just... Hi, baby. Speaking of the devil... Um, if you guys see anything getting knocked around, it's because my puppy has just walked in the building and she always knocks things over with her big paws and her big booty. Um, but with the moon card here and the seven of cups, this is not a healthy, constructive, uh, um, partnership. Like this isn't a healthy, constructive set of cards. It's telling me to tell you that there's something that you, especially with the Emperor card here, there's something that you're holding, holding together within yourself that is creating more problems, cancer. Uh, I just heard problems of the flesh. It's like what you're not allowing your, how you're not allowing yourself to be seen. Um, there's, there's a level of, whoa, oh my goodness, you guys, the cards that are jumping out. Yeah, there is a level, the word is integrity. There's a level of transparency and communication and, you know, being forward, clearing, clearing the fog, clearing, um, I heard that I just heard the word. I'm not trying to compromise. I'm not trying. This is dead. This is done. This is it's, but clearly it's not clearly it's not Capricorn and it's going to be up to you ultimately to kind of decide, do you lay this to rest in a healthy way? Do you cut out the cancer? Do you treat the cancer or do you allow yourself to kind of turn your head away from it and being like, yeah, it doesn't exist. And I'm everything is fine because look, I've got, I've got this going on. I'm doing this. I've got them. I've got this new, all these new things. And the reality is, is like, I just heard the word. It haunts you. Whatever it is, feels like it's still haunting you. And whatever newness you're going to bring in, it's not going to be acceptable to you. You're not going to be happy with it until you address the shadow of what was pulled out of your life or what you pulled out or what collapsed or what, you know, I just heard the word rebellion. It was like something or someone asked something of you and you rebelliously turned your head past it or turned away from it um, instead of working on it. And it, that shit haunts you to this day. Um, I, that That's the truth. That's what it is that I'm seeing. And if I'm wrong, let me know. And look, your base of your cards is five of cups. I'm sorry, five of swords. Um, and that's things that you do in order to protect yourself, but ultimately you're hurting yourself. What is this spirit? And also with the Page of Wands here, Page of Wands is this like very non-committal, short-sighted, um, finding these things that like temporarily make it passionate and make it like, oh, this is new, this is exciting, but then it just fizzles out. It fizzles out really, really quick. So anything that you're trying to develop or build on, it just feels like, ugh, defeating. So what do you need to see here? Seven of Pentacles, it says you gotta see what you don't wanna see. Seven of Pentacles is literally the card of observation. And especially with Seven of Cups, you might even be doing drugs, taking, drinking alcohol, 
um, entering into short-lived relationships, um, connections. I just heard the word communion. I don't know why, but you might be finding all these things instead of, in order to distract yourself, in, instead of feeling and seeing and, you know, what needs to be seen, what needs to be addressed, what needs to be handled. And I just truly feel like you know exactly what I'm talking about and it's got to come from you. Some of you guys are asking how, how Jess, and, you know, oh, Chariot, you're going to have to go the distance. Yeah, Four of Wands, go to the house, go to the home, King of King of Cups. Be mature in this. Be emotionally mature. Um, that means that or you're going to have to go into their space or you have to go to their office or whatever the case is. You are going to want to go the distance. Five of Cups just jumped out, my loves. Um which I said for you earlier, but now it's really truly here. Knight of Pentacles is it's in action. It's in, in with movement and Hierophant is where they traditionally are, where you traditionally find them, or it's like the work, the hospital, the job, the home, where they're always at. You you go out of your way in order to have that conversation, in order to see what, in order to undo what was done or repair it in some way, make it right, make it better. Um, Excuse me, my dear. She's over here chewing on a box of tissues. <laughs> Some of you guys are not ready. You don't want to be vulnerable in that way. I totally understand that. But that's where this card comes through. These cards, it's the card of growth and knowledge. Especially with toadstools, man. It's about... Toadstools are so interesting because they can really expand your mind. You know, it's like shrooms. They can expand your mind, but you, especially like if you have, for some of you guys, you know, maybe it's not that you're going out of your way to talk to someone or, but it, maybe you're going out of your way to talk within yourself, to understand yourself. Um, but it really concerns me because with the moon card and the seven of cups here, this could be some shadow aspect of yourself that you are really having a hard time seeing, acknowledging and learning about yourself. So you're, when you have some type of eye opening, awakening experience, it just kind of sets you off. So I do see this sense of support and sanctuary around you that will nurture you and support you. Or maybe that's what this person represented for you um, with joy and purity. I feel like they are you're attracted to this thing, you're attracted to this situation, you're attracted to this friendship, you're attracted to what it gave to you, you want it again, you desire it again, it was pure, it was good, your intentions are pure, but something is getting muddled here. Spirit does want you to be happy, spirit does want you to be fulfilled, um, and in the pursuit of you trying not to see, or you trying not to handle and address this issue, I feel like you're actually binding yourself a little more so allow yourself to be seen felt heard um and allow yourself like allow you to see you do you know what i mean um because it's very much like an internal awareness of like oh this is why this is bothering me so much or this is why it's hard for me to let go or this is why i don't believe that this can happen this is this truth about myself and spirit is really needing you to um to see it for once to really see it and to be in a space where you are embraced okay that was a really um magical message i know that that sounds crazy uh all of this my readings are definitely different than other readers but that's what's definitely coming through capricorns my loves i don't know why but the taurus just came through so taurus energy might be a very safe place for you right now um but also now i think about it taurus rules the second house of values valuable things what we spend our money on like expensive luxurious things so that could also be a testament to you um, you know, treating yourself financially, there's nothing wrong with that either. Like, and there definitely should be, but that's the thing, to, that's the thing, Scorp, um, Scorpio, that's the thing, Capricorn. It's like, you're getting these things because there's a part of you that feels like, not worthless, but in that, like, like a part of you, like you're beating yourself up, like, uh, like it's when something doesn't work out and you, you are so strong and so regimented and like, what you want to believe about yourself or what you want to believe about the situation that you start doing all of these external things in order to prove that to yourself. I'm worthy of this. I'm worthy. So you start buying and doing all this extra stuff 
um, to prove to yourself, but ultimately there's like an empty void there. And if you allow, if you address, address the void, you won't need all of those things to prove it to yourself because you, in you, you deeply understand it. So Capricorn, that's what spirit is, is asking you to kind of transform for the month of October or whenever it is that you are watching this now. Um, in the meantime, you guys, I'm sending you all of my love. Please know that I'm with you <laughs> always. I'm always here. And if you want to link up, definitely check me out. You can find me in my shop, the Bahati Life Apothecary, just working candles per usual. <laughs> um, this is one of them. Um, working candles, working the intention oils, uh, packing herbs. Um, there's uh, uh, ritual soaks. There's bundles. <laughs> my puppy's just doing silly stuff in the background. Um, and I'm just more than happy to work with you, of course, okay? We can help you to break free from whatever it is that you might be struggling with right now. I'm just kind of breaking those bonds, okay? One thing that I would highly recommend for you guys is the... Actually, I think it's called Breaking breaking Free. It's an, an oil that I have. I can never remember the names of the oils that I have. I could see them again and again and again. Oh, Break the Chain. Um, and that's going to be for breaking whatever is binding you right now. Because it feels like... I mean, that's very Capricorn too with the devil energy. You guys are ruled by the devil card. It's like you just won't allow yourself to see. You won't allow yourself to fill in the blank. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope this message resonates. I hope that it makes sense. And um, I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing. All of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Mahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahatiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at Bahati Life where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.